here they are, thousands of Beatles fans await the arrival of their heroes. Let's talk about the British sound. It's a story that began in 1936 with the very first BBC broadcast. The Beeb broadcast to the world. The world listened, and listened through British-built speakers. They also fell in love with the homegrown sound that came out of them. We Brits had taken the American invention, rock and roll, and ran off with it. It was the first of three extraordinary things that changed music forever. By the 60s, not only did Britannia rule the waves, well, the American airwaves to be specific, but there was a second equally important change in the world order. British studios now led the way in recording technology. Our innovations in mixing desks and microphones allowed music tracks to be built up layer by layer and enabled the first multi-track recording. Now, this brilliant new recorded sound was all very well, but as much use as a chocolate plectrum if you couldn't experience it in your own home. That's when the third big leap occurred, and it began at Cambridge University in a borrowed garage. These bright sparks were on a mission to design an amplifier that could play back tracks without adding anything or taking anything away from the original recording, and to build affordable hi-fi kit for the home. I don't know what Whilst our cousins in the States liked a heavy bass in their recordings, and in the Far East, a mid-range mix to carry the vocals, but we liked our recordings unadulterated and unfiltered, the British sound. It was the summer of love, but not for the guys burning the midnight oil designing the iconic P40 amplifier. An amplifier is at the heart of any audio system, and it's where Cambridge Audio built their reputation. Whether it was with turntables, cassette decks, or CD players. Cambridge amplifiers were developed by people with a good ear. They delivered an authentic sound, the, the sound the record producer first laid down. Cambridge Audio's relentless pursuit of British sound hasn't diminished. The digital revolution has transformed the way we listen to our music, and this new convenience has brought with it new challenges. To ensure they could still deliver a pure sound with digital music, Cambridge created their own streaming platform. They now have kit that can play music as good as the original high-res studio master. So you hear your music exactly how it should sound. And there's nothing more authentic than that. So a recording made in a studio in 1968 sounds as fresh and as crisp as it did on the day the engineer said three. I've been walking around trying to make no sound 